皆様お揃いになられましたでしょうかおさらいありますが皆様お持ちの導通イヤホンをチャンネル2番に合わせていただきますようお願いいたしますそれでは文化会パート3アップル社の接続技術につきましてアップルコンピュータ社の IBM コミュニケーションズプロダクトラインマネージャーでありますデビッド・ナギーよりご説明させていただきます。for attending our conference here and, and this session in particular. My job at Apple is to manage the products that connect Macintosh to IBM mainframe, mid-range, and personal computers. But today, for the next 45 minutes, I'd like to give you a broad overview of Apple's connectivity products. I'd like to give you a little bit of background in each of the areas that we focus on in terms of the strategy, the product goals, to give you some sense of Apple's priorities. The products that we'll be talking about strategically fit in with the vital model that you, many of you heard about earlier, mostly in the context of the infrastructure element, cables, network cards, network protocols, and to an extent, the desktop integration as well. I'll also talk a bit about some of the products that are currently available in each of these areas. And again, my goal is to paint a broad overview of all of the areas, and then those that you are more interested in, you can pursue and investigate on your own. Networking on the Macintosh has been there from the beginning in the form of something we call Apple Talk. Apple Talk is a very popular networking architecture. In fact, if you look across the world in terms of installed base, Apple Talk, depending on the country that you're in, is number two or number three in overall number of installed network connections. And it's, it's got that position for many good reasons which I'll get into in a few minutes. But it is at the core of everything we do. It is built into the Macintosh. But the Macintosh is not dependent on Apple Talk. And this is a point that I would like to make very clear, and that Apple Talk has a lot of advantages, as you'll see. I'll do a demonstration in a few minutes that shows some interesting capabilities. But if you have an IBM SNA environment, or you're running TCP IP with Unix systems, you're not limited to using Apple Talk. The products that I'll cover will allow you to connect into each of these systems either through Apple Talk or directly into those uh, other vendor systems. Just a little perspective on Macintosh networking. Why is it important? Why has Apple Talk gained such a, such a large share of the market? Not only in terms of Apple devices connected to the Apple Talk, but also the acceptance of Apple Talk by dozens of third party software and hardware vendors. The biggest advantage, in my opinion, is the flexibility of Apple Talk. It works the way you do, or some of us like to say it works intuitively in ways that you would expect it to work. It works the same whether you're on a local area network or whether you're connected via remote access. We now have a number of projects underway where we'll also be able to use the exact same services in wireless environments. And you can imagine things like infrared, either direct or diffuse infrared, and RF communications, all built into the Apple Talk architecture. And those of you that are more interested in the details underneath the Apple Talk architecture, there will be a session tomorrow uh, by Rick Wiley. We'll get into that in, in some more depth. 
Another advantage of Apple Talk, it's peer-to-peer -peer oriented. So not only can you access file servers that are centralized, um, laser writers, print servers, you can also directly communicate between two Macintosh systems on a network. And perhaps the largest or the, the most important advantage of Apple Talk is its dynamic and adaptive capabilities. In fact, when you put a computer that is a Macintosh on an Apple Talk network, it immediately begins broadcasting across the network what the name of it is and what kind of service it provides. Very dynamic, unlike a lot of other 